guys, it's Lauren. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I'm doing a lifestyle favorites. And I just have a ton of products sitting around me that are products that are kind of miscellaneous, things that I've really never talked about, save like but one or two um, on my channel. And I'm like, I'm using these products all the time. I've never talked to them um, to you guys before. Like I've never shared them because a lot of them aren't makeup. And I do, if you're new here, I typically stick to makeup and beauty on my channel and sometimes commentary. But these are things I really love and would love to kind of share the love with you guys. I'll have all the products linked in the description box down below. Um, the products that have little asterisks beside them, those links are going to be affiliate links, which just means I make a small commission off of the product that you purchase um, if you decide to use that link if you don't want to that's totally fine you can look up the products for yourself but I just kind of wanted to be upfront and clear about that um, it doesn't it's no extra cost on you guys if you decide to use that link though and I'm just kind of looking around because I'm like I don't even know where to start I have like leggings over here I have a cream over there I have a sweater over there lots to talk about so I would recommend getting something to drink some tea some coffee I actually have a tea recommendation if you're interested in that I have so much to talk about let me stop blabbering. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first item is a little bit of a more pricey item. I do have a few pairs of these because they are so good. I'm constantly wearing these leggings from Lululemon. These specifically are the Align Pant 25. Um, here is the front of them. And I'll insert a picture on the screen over here of like what a model looks like wearing them. So you can kind of have more of a gist of what they look like and the length of them. Um, and then here is the back. These are the navy version. And I've really been liking the navy. I didn't think I would. I pretty much stick to black and gray leggings. As a whole but over the holidays I decided to ask for these just because I love these leggings so much um, I also like their wonder pant leggings but the align pant has been my favorite by far um, I definitely recommend checking them out if you are in the market for leggings that are going to be really durable and last you a while I actually have some leggings in the drawer behind me that I've had from Lululemon since I was basically since four years ago I think it was like four years ago this month that I got them and they still I'm like constantly wearing those as well so I do think this is a really good investment um they feel really nice I like the way that they kind of just tuck everything in and hold it together um and they're super comfortable as well so definitely would recommend these so the next product I believe I mentioned on my channel before I think in some like favorites video a while back this is one of my favorite products for the summer but when I think of lifestyle favorites this is what comes to mind so I definitely wanted to still mention it this is the Brazilian boom boom cream from Soul de Janeiro. Here's what it looks like. This product, I believe this is the full size, which comes with eight fluid ounces. I know that they have like a jumbo size as well. If you're someone who really enjoys this product, I like it a lot. I don't think, you know, I would go through like a giant thing of it. Um, I'm still like, I still have so much of this left. This product smells amazing. I mean, you can see, I still have a lot left. I went through a bunch of like the $20 more smaller size products before. I believe those are like I don't know I don't know how much product is in those but I went through a few of those and then finally decided to splurge on this one um and I'm honestly so glad that I did this the way that I use it is just on my legs during the summer when you know they're showing which is pretty much all the time uh during the summer months in the south if you know you know but you know whenever I'm wearing a dress or a skirt or shorts it just gives this really kind of shiny radiant just lively finish to the legs and really does smooth everything out I know this is supposed to help with like cellulite I've never tested it for that or anything so I can't really speak to that claim if you can I'd love to hear you know your thoughts in the the, the comment section down below um this is the eight ounce version I'm not sure if I mentioned that to you guys just so you can know size wise this product the smell of it is absolutely amazing um, it has gourmand extract in it, which is something that I'm really drawn towards and like fragrance and my perfumes. And I just really like that I could use this during the winter, but typically I don't really find much of a need. Like I need a cream that's super, super just heavy duty and really moisturizing. And this one is moisturizing, but it's not quite enough for the winter. I could always like layer it and combine it with another product if I wanted to. But I just like how, because I love warm feeling, like I love warm scents. And this is one that I feel like is also appropriate for the more warmer months where I'm not typically drawn towards something so, it's not really spicy, but you, if you know Gourmand, it kind of has that kind of, um, more warm woodsy type scent to it the next thing is a snack and this is the blue diamond whole natural almonds um these are just like the original version they don't have like any salt on them and they're not roasted which i personally like i think it's like a really com good combination of like a savory snack and it has like just a really sweet not really sweet but it has kind of a sweet taste to it um just like natural almonds and this is the one I typically get um I use so this is interesting but there's this tiny like container that I've just been refilling it with because I just find it's easier when I'm like in a rush need to grab a snack really 
quickly to just open this and grab rather than like open a bag it's really weird but i just bought one of these one time which i believe are only three dollars for one of these and i've just been refilling it um over time but the reason that i like this snack is because i find it to be really filling like i only need 10 and i'm like good um and what i mean by that is i go to school i you know wake up i have a little breakfast and then i go to school and that starts at 8 and then i don't leave until 1 30 um, which really isn't that bad, but because I leave at 1.30, I don't have any, like, lunch periods. Like, my school's just kind of weird. Like, we, I, we don't have any lunch periods whatsoever. Sometimes people can get free periods, um, but it's just really weird. So, I don't really have a lot of time to eat anything. And so, this is something that, like, I just bring a few almonds, and I can, you know, have them around, like, midway throughout the day, and it just keeps me, you know, I don't know, what's the word? Like, keeps me... This is really irritating. I don't know the word for it, but it just holds me in. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but it <laughs> that took forever for me to say. But it holds me in until I'm able to, you know, get home, have an actual, you know, meal. Um, and so I'm, I just would really recommend these. If you don't like something like a little bit more natural, you want something with some salt, some more flavor to it. There's so many different types. I know my mom and a few of my friends really enjoy the wasabi flavor. I'm not a wasabi person whatsoever, but if you're looking for something with a little more zing to it, that could be something you would want to try out. The next recommendation comes from Jessica Braun um, here on YouTube. She is a makeup channel that is adding a little bit more lifestyle content in. She's still going to do makeup, but this is one of the mm, first like mm, lifestyle products that I saw her mention that it's really good. It is a Amazon mirror. I'll have the exact name of it here on the screen now. You can see it has kind of this sleek packaging to it. And I'm going to try not to like blind you guys when I show this to you, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> this makeup mirror I really like because one, it's pretty affordable. Two, it has this, you know, like you can stand it up any way that's like whether you're sitting on a bed or you're at a counter, like you can make it whatever's most convenient for you. It's almost like one of those like iPad cases that have the keyboard on it. Like you can just kind of stand it up whatever way is most easy for you depending on when and where you're doing your makeup and it is really clear. I know it comes with a little magnifying mirror as well. I need to find that um but it comes with that as well. I do want to say though that I haven't used it too too much yet. It's a newer favorite of mine um, because I did get it a few months or a month or two ago, but I haven't really been traveling that often, but I am going to be traveling a lot in the coming months. So I'll have to update you guys, but so far I've really been enjoying it the few times that I've used it. This next product is a little bit beauty related, but I feel like I don't mention it all that often. This is the Briogeo Be Well Organic and Cold Pressed Castor Oil. It's, I believe, $26.00. This is so good. So you're probably thinking, what on earth do you use this for? I use it on the ends of my hair when it's basically just, you know, it's damp, but it's almost dry. So after I shower, when my hair is about dry, because I do, for the most part, air dry it. If I do decide to blow dry it, I'll just put this on after. Um, you don't need a lot at all. Like, I just use the tiniest drop, probably the size of a pea, honestly, and just put that on to the ends of my hair and, like, I'll use the excess, like after I initially put it on my ends, I'll just kind of like gradually use the excess on other areas of my hair where I feel like it's kind of damaged. And I think it has done a really good job at helping, you know, kind of improve my hair growth. That is what this castor oil is really supposed to do. You can also use it on your eyebrows, which I clearly don't need um, more eyebrow growth. They're already big enough. They're big enough and bushy enough. And then you can also use it on your eyelashes, which I'm considering doing, but I always get a little bit nervous just because I know my eyes are very sensitive and if you get like if it like gets too concentrated with any castor oil um too concentrated around the follicle it can you know cause an infection so i am a little bit more careful when it comes to my eyelashes but i think this has done a really good job improving the health of my hair still needs a little bit of work but it's been a really good product for me this is definitely a not a must-have favorite product by any means but i have i don't even know where my phone is but i have the iphone x and for the longest time i've just been using like the you know earbuds with the adapter that have kind of like the charging cord style earbud and i personally don't mind those whatsoever however the problem is when I'm traveling and when I'm trying to charge my phone, but I also want to listen to music, you can't do both with the traditional cord earbuds. So I finally did get the, just, these are just the like first version of the AirPods. Um, just the AirPods with the charging case. Here's what they look like open. Um, depending on the retailer, the price kind of varies. Uh, I know, I think I found it on Apple for $159 and I think that's the one that I'll have linked down below just because I know that Apple obviously is a very reliable retailer. Don't want to give you one that's like not very reliable. Um, but I know you can get them a lot of different places as well. But for me, you know, it was kind of more of like not 
it was kind of a frivolous purchase. Like I definitely did not need this, but it has made things a lot easier when I'm traveling and when I'm trying to listen to music, but also charge my phone so it doesn't die. Like it's been a nice thing for me to kind of have. Um, I do want to say though that like when I've been going on walks and stuff, it's been really nice to have like just ear pods, like air pods. One of my friends, she calls them ear pods and now I can't stop calling them that, but I put them in my ears and I don't have to worry about them. Like I don't have to worry about my cord, like getting in the way with like my dog's leash because as weird as it sounds, like it would get tangled in the leash all the time. And I'd always have to worry about them falling out. And these I really don't have that problem with. So I've really been enjoying them and kind of just wanted to share in case you were kind of like on the fence about getting them. I would recommend it. I have so many candle favorites and pretty much all of them come from Bath & Body Works. I've talked about my love of Bath & Body Works in so many different videos, so you guys probably know. But um, two candles that I've especially been loving during the winter time are... The first one is the Tree Farm candle. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure this is like on sale now because it's more of like a Christmas candle that was more like for the holidays and like they're kind of trying to phase out now. Um, but I'm sure we'll be able to get it next year. But also you can like, I'm pretty sure get it now on a discount, which is really nice. This, what I like about it is it has kind of like a holiday scent. It smells kind of like, you know, trees, fresh balsam. But for me, it still kind of works as a winter candle. Like it's not, it doesn't have like a Christmas scent to it where I feel like I can only use it during that time of the year. Whereas this one, I am a lot more inclined to use it during the holidays and I don't really use it that much after it. But this scent I pick up almost every single year because it's so, so good. It is the winter candle from Bath & Body Works and I bet they'll still have this around. Um, and then also the candle that is kind of like a great utilitarian, like I don't know why I just said utilitarian. I don't know if that really makes sense, but it's a great one for a year round that I just think has a really calming scent to it that I think I can't find it, but I know I have because I literally burned it like two days ago, but it is the eucalyptus spearmint candle. I will have that linked in the description box down below. I'll put a picture on the screen if I haven't already um, because that one is truly amazing and I've been using it a lot. I just can't find it. So I've been really loving tea this whole past year. Like honestly, for the past like 12 months, tea has just been my thing and I've really been enjoying it. There's so many that I love. Um, Tazo has been a brand that I just feel like comes out with consistently really good teas. This is the Tazo Zen Tea. This is just the box filled with all of the little things. I don't think I've opened this one yet, but this has like the lemongrass and spearmint combination. I know this specific version does have a little bit of caffeine in it, whereas some of the other ones that I like do not. One that I really enjoy for in the afternoon and also in the morning as a kind of like wake me up is the breakfast tea. It's like just their black tea blend and that is so, so good as well. And so to picture on the screen, I need to go get another one of that because I was looking in like the pantry and I found this one, but I could not find the other one. So this is a very good tea brand um, that I really enjoy so many of their different like combinations and their versions. So I wanted to mention my book favorites because these are two that I've read multiple times and really can never like get enough of. Like I always end up rereading them. And the thing is, these are used and abused. I'm someone who likes like physical books that I can actually like turn the pages on. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I just like I can't do e-readers like it's just hard I like get sidetracked like if one if I get a notification two if my eye wanders I'm like where was I I don't know it's really weird but the first book is The Great Gatsby these are both two classics but this one um would probably be my second favorite of the two I like this one it just kind of is like a romantic like it just kind of draws you in um and it's also a really easy read like if I'm going on a trip or something I'm gonna read a book on the beach like this is something you could finish in a reasonable amount of time um and then this is my all-time favorite I really have read this so many times and because it's a little bit longer I feel like there's always part portions of it that I get to and I'm like I totally forgot about that part um this is just so good I also love the movie like that's one of my favorite movies of all time this is the help I'm sure you could talk about the title but I mean, really just a great book that I constantly reread. So yeah, those are two book favorites. I know they're, you know, basically like the most basic bo basic books that I can think of, but honestly, they're my two favorites. Next, I have my slippers. I believe I mentioned these in like my holiday favorites because they're so cozy, um, but I'm still wearing them all the time. These are just some slippers from Target. I'll have the actual like name of the product here on the screen. I've been getting a ton of use out of them. I believe they're just around $20. They're so comfortable and they have the little grippies on the bottom. So like if you're going outside to take out your dog on like the night or whatever, it's so, so nice because like you're not ruining like a real fluffy bottom of the slipper. Like it's just nice. And also I don't love slippers that are like so big that you feel like you're going to like fall out of them when you're walking. These are ones that like my feet can actually stay in. I believe this is the size medium. Um, I have like a size seven, seven and a half foot. So if that helps you kind of decide what 
size you'd be wanting. Um, and I know they have a couple different shades as well, but I just like this because it's a very neutral shade. Now I have a really comfy like sweatshirt from Hollister. I'll insert a picture on the screen because kind of like with the leggings, it's just hard for me to like show it to you without completely like covering the whole screen. This is so comfortable. I mine in size medium and honestly, I probably should have gone down a size just because it is kind of big. Um, but it's so comfortable and I can just throw it over anything. It definitely does look a little like schlumpy. It's not going to be like a super stylish type item or piece, but it's just really cozy and I've really been enjoying it. So I've mentioned a lot of my channel that my number one dry shampoo is the Living Proof um, dry shampoo and that one still is my all-time favorite but that one is very pricey and from every day I don't want to be using that all the time unless it's like a special occasion and I need my hair to look really good but I also like can't shower um but this one is great for the everyday and I still feel like it does make a difference and still makes my hair look good this is the Batiste instant hair refresh defrizzing dry shampoo um I believe it's like nine or ten dollars but it's still relatively affordable for a 6.73 fluid ounce product uh this is like a newer style from them i know they just came out with even more newer styles but this does a really good job at you know making my hair look clean making it feel clean too there's a lot of drugstore dry shampoos that just don't do that and batiste does a really good job of doing that this specific one i feel like really like makes my hair less frizzy i like to put my dry shampoo in before i go to sleep at night so it has time to get rid this doesn't have a lot of white cast however you know, it does have a little bit, so before I go to bed, and then that way it can kind of like gradually come out on its own before I wake up in the morning. Um, and I will say the reason that I like the Living Proof one better, and also my Dry Bar one better, is because I feel like they actually like really clean the hair, and you know, this one I'm not sure if it's actually really cleaning it. It may feel clean, it may look clean, but I don't know how much cleaning it's really doing, but I don't really care. Like for something I'm using every day, I know I'm going to shower the next day, like it's something that I'm not as concerned about. So this is one I've really been enjoying. It has kind of this um, like perfumey smell to it, but I still really enjoy it. Next up, we have a bracelet that I've really been enjoying. I don't wear, I don't know if you guys have like noticed, but I don't wear bracelets that much. I'll wear necklaces, I'll sometimes wear earrings, um, but bracelets are something I'm trying to get more into. And this is one I've really been enjoying and I've like paired with a lot of different things. It is the Lulu's ring or like not bracelet. I'll insert the name on the screen here. But I just really like this bracelet. I find that, like, it could even, I could even wear it with this. Um, and you can, like, something really important for me is that it's adjustable because I do have, like, smaller wrist. I like to have something that I can kind of bend and move without, like, ruining the product. And this is really affordable for a bracelet, but it does look higher quality. Um, it's just a cute bracelet, and I thought I'd mention it because I've really been enjoying it. All right, guys, that'll wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up so I know to start incorporating a little bit more lifestyle onto my channel through, like, my current monthly favorites videos. I'm always going to stick to makeup though. It's just something that like makes me really happy. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what, you know, lifestyle products or even just like any products or anything you want to let me know in the comment section down below. I love interacting with you guys. So I'd really appreciate if you do that. Um, if you're new here and you haven't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you would do so by clicking that red button down below. And if you want to be notified, you can hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That way YouTube will just let you know whenever I'm uploading or posting anything. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I always like to say that and just let you know how much it means to me because it really does. I love posting content. I love interacting with you guys and I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So thank you so much. I hope that you guys have a great couple of days until my next video goes live and I will see you then. Bye.